Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Love Brie, and today I am coming back to you guys with a um, review video. So I've actually been meaning to do this review for a while now. However, this item came in when I was moving, so I just got to actually like having it in my possession. Um, I did use it actually before I moved, so I can actually tell you guys how much I love it. So what it is, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know about it but if you don't I will have the link to this um, down below you can purchase it on Amazon it is the stand DIY and basically it's really helpful if you use a very fine tip glue um, so I tend to use fine tip glues because it's just more precise whether it's a hot glue gun or my liquid glue so this is how it looks when it's put together and it comes with an extra foam piece and um, it comes in two different designs I'm not sure if they have more now because like I said I've got this in November I believe and um, this one here is like a floral triangle and heart print and then this one is a star triangle and heart print and this is the one I'm using right now they sent me two different kinds um, I am going to show you guys how to put one together. I don't want to open this up because I'm not going to use it right away. But I will show you guys with this one. So I'm going to show you different kinds of glues that fit in here just in case, you know, you guys are interested in seeing it. But this is a Barely Arts glue bottle. And it's just your normal regular size glue bottle. I'm pretty sure this will fit a little bit of a bigger bottle as well. Um, I don't have anything too much bigger than that. I do have Fabri-Tac so we'll try that out but yeah so as you guys can see this is a fine tip bottle. I usually use the thinner one but I recently got these and I filled it up with my Barely Arts glue as well and these are my fine line applicators. I have a standard tip and a fine tip. When I'm working on a project and I'm using one of these more often this thin tip will dry up really quick even if you leave it out just for a couple seconds. However, with this tool, if you use it and stick it right down like this and you're working on your project and you continuously do that, it doesn't dry up. It keeps it moist to where you don't, you don't have to worry about continuously having to cover up your glue. So um, that's the problem that I had with this one here because with the Barely Arts glue, it doesn't come with I mean, it comes with a pin, but I really don't want, like, you know, a little needle to get lost. Because sometimes I do drop it on the floor and I can't do that with Kalea now. Um, so I used to have to go on Etsy. And I used to have to actually purchase little pins that people make with beads and stuff. I used to actually have to purchase those. And I was getting so tired of breaking them all the time. Because sometimes it'll be too clogged that if I try to push it in, it bends. Because the glue is just so jammed in there. So this came... Um, so they asked me to review this and I honestly am in love with this. I had this um, stuck like this for about three months before I used it again and my glue was still working. Like it was literally sitting like this um, with the fine tip. I just changed the tip but with the fine tip um, that was like this one and it was still working. So I do highly recommend it. It is super easy to put together. And honestly, it's the best thing to have on your desk, especially if you're working with glues like this. Just because, you know, you don't have to worry about capping it all the time or having to use a little needle to keep your um, bottle unclogged. So let me just show you guys really quick um, how to put it together and then I'll show you a couple glues that work. Um, as you guys can tell, the fine line applicators do. Um, when I'm done using it, I do cap it back up and then I put it in my adhesive bucket and then I do put this one here as well just because I mainly use this bottle um, and it doesn't have a cap so that stays there but anyway so you do get two of these little foam pieces one of them is already on here when you receive the package so let me just so when you get your um, the stand it comes like this I want to take it apart um, but it comes like this and then this one's already adhered on so I don't know if you guys can see it's already stuck on there 
so you don't have to worry about putting it on. And um, there are instructions on the packaging. So I don't know if you guys, sorry for the glare. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some instructions right here um, on how to put this together. But basically, it comes like this. Let me just flatten it back up for you guys. Okay, so it comes in your packaging like this. Then when you take it out of the packaging, all you do is you fold along all the little like lines. So you have one down here, the bottom. You have the center one. This one near the pink foam and this bottom tab. You want to fold all of those away from you. So going downward. Like this. Alright, and then what you do is you literally make a stand. Just like this, like a triangle. And you slide in the little tab into the hole that's there and it clicks in. And this is the back where it says stand DIY. And then that's your little stand. So now you can put your little bottle and it just stays on your desk. And I love to move it around like if I'm working on a project and I need space. Easy to just slide around and your glue bottle stays in place. So, um, sorry for that noise if you guys didn't like that. But here's some bottles that work. Um, I use a fine line so that fits. Um, this is my, my Fabri-Tac. Let's try it out. Yep, it holds a big old Fabri-Tac glue. Especially with these glues, I wouldn't know. I never tried. Fabri-Tac, it leaks a lot. You can use the bottle, like you'll use the glue, leave it up like this, and it'll just start gushing out like a whole lot of the glue. It's such a waste. Um, I don't think there's any way that you can go around that. So I'm not sure if putting it down here will actually stop that clogging. Um, maybe I could try it out and then I will update you guys on Instagram. But for sure, um, if you guys are interested, just definitely try it out because this really does work for all these other glues. So it does hold it. I just don't know if it'll stop the, the flow. <laughs> um, the other glues that I do, I, let's see. So there's this Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue. Again, it has a cap, but if you're using it consistently, you could just leave your glue like this. And then use it for your project late at night if you want to take it down. Um, if you want to take it off and then cap it back up and put it away, you can. Or you can leave it as it is. Like I said, I've kept this glue on here with a finer tip for months and it still stayed moist. I know that's a weird word. That's a weird word. I know some of you guys don't like that word. Um, it is kind of odd, but it keeps it unclogged, is what I'm saying. Um, here's a smaller little beacon glue. It's not Fabri-Tac, but these you can get from Dollar Tree. I haven't seen it in a while, but it's a great glue. Um, same with this glue. I don't know if it's because it's thick, but it definitely does ooze out, so I'm not sure if this one will stay in place, but definitely try it out if you're interested. I do have this large Martha clear glue from Martha Stewart. I'm not a huge fan of it. I didn't think that it would wrinkle my paper, but it does. So I use it just for small things, but it holds that as well. So it holds different sizes, as you guys can tell from the different ones here. Um, all these blue glue bottles fit. Um, this is some Crystal Bond, which I just recently purchased, but this like the smell of this reminds me of E6000. It's not a great smell. It smells like literally acetone. But yeah, I'm pretty sure like, you know, if you're using it to put crystals, if you're working on a like DIY phone case or something, you can definitely use this for that as well. So um, yeah, those are the different glues that I have. Like this is an on point glue and that works too. Yeah, so. Um, I do highly recommend it. I just wanted to show you guys quickly or like what my thoughts were on this um, stand. I do highly recommend it for us crafters that use it all the time, our glues, um, for sure. Um, but I will definitely have their Amazon link down below if you're interested. Um, so that way you guys can go ahead and grab yours. And again, it does come with a refill so that we don't have to buy a brand new one. I'm pretty sure you can make your own of these. Just honestly take a piece of foam. I don't know if this is like a special foam. 
take a piece of foam, put some removable adhesive on the back, and you could just make your own refills. So yeah, definitely recommend this. Again, if you're interested, I'll have it linked down below. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'll have that linked down below as well. Um, but yeah, so definitely check it out. I hope you guys have a great day, whatever day it is that you guys are watching this. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.